So today we're going to learn about the rate equation. Before we get to the rate equation, we're going to define a few terms. Okay. First of all, something we've already defined is what we mean by rate, right? When we talk when we talk about the rate of a reaction, we quantify it. We quantify it by saying that a rate, when we say rate, what we mean is the change in concentration, the change in concentration with respect to time. Right? The change in concentration with respect to time or we can say the rate of change of concentration, right? So whenever we're talking about a rate of a reaction, when we talk about the rate of a reaction, we're quantifying it by looking at the rate of change of concentration. So we're looking at the change in concentration with respect to time. And what we said here was that the units for rate will be moles per dm cube per second, right? Or in some cases, it will be per minute, right? Depending on the units of time given to you or depending on what units of time you're using for your experiment. The next term that we're looking at is what we mean by order of a reaction. Okay, what is order? Now the order of a reaction okay, refers to the power to which, the power to which, the power to which, the concentration of a reactant, the concentration of a reactant, is raised is raised in the rate equation in the rate equation when we talk about order okay different reactants in a given reaction can have different orders okay so when the order is with respect to a certain reactant the order is with respect to a certain reactant with respect to a reactant Now, when we say that something is order zero, okay, when we say something is order zero, what we're saying is, what we're saying is that the rate of the reaction does not depend, does not depend on the concentration of that particular reactant. The rate of the reaction does not depend on the concentration of that particular reactant. So, when I say that a particular reactant, or we, when we say that a reaction is zero order with respect to a particular reactant, then the concentration of that reactant, okay, doesn't affect the rate of the reaction. When we say something is order one, that means that the rate, the rate is directly proportional, is directly proportional to the concentration of that reactant. Okay. And when we say that we have something that's order two, right? So if I say that a reaction is order two with respect to a particular reactant, what that means is what that means is that the rate the rate is directly proportional directly proportional to the square of the concentration, right, to the square of the concentration. The next term that we have over here is what we mean by overall order, overall order of a reaction. The overall order is the sum of the individual orders, okay, it is the sum of the individual orders. The individual orders of each reactant of each reactant in the rate equation. So let's look at an example reaction, right? Let's just say that I have let's just say that I have A and B. Okay, let's say that I have A and B reacting to form C. And I have, let's say I have a catalyst and I'm just going to call that B. Because I have a catalyst as well in this reaction, right? Now the rate equation for this reaction will be of the following form. The rate equation of this reaction will be of the following form. It will be the rate can be expressed as a product of K times the concentration of A to some power times the concentration of B to some power times the concentration of D to some power and so on. 
okay the idea here is that the idea over here is that this can only be determined experimentally just by looking at the equation just by looking at the equation right for the reaction the stoichiometric equation we determine nahi kar sakte ki ye powers kya we have to determine these powers experimentally but what we're saying is that the rate depends on the concentration of the different reactants as well as the catalyst that we're using okay so the rate can be expressed as a product of k here k is called the rate constant k is called the rate constant okay it can be expressed as a product of the rate constant and the concentrations of each of the individual reactants or catalyst raised to some power this power is called the order okay so the, the way i have written this rate equation here the way i have written this rate equation here this reaction can be said to be order m with respect to a order n with respect to b and order p with respect to c right the power to which the concentration of the reactant is raised in the rate equation so a is raised to the power of m b is raised to the power of n and d is raised to the power of p we're going to look at some examples of how we can determine the order of each individual reactant and therefore determine the rate equation okay so this entire thing here this is your rate equation and here of course the concentration the concentration of the reactants or the catalyst has units of moles per decimeter cube right moles per decimeter cube whereas the rate has units of moles per decimeter cube per second right or per minute per unit time concentration per unit time whereas the rate constant for the rate constant the units can vary the units can vary for the rate constant right the reason why the units can vary is because the reason why the units can vary is because you can have different orders in a reaction right the units of the rate constant will vary depending on depending on the overall order of the reaction depending on the overall order of the reaction obviously concentration will always have units of moles per decimeter cube rate will always have units of concentration per unit time or change in concentration per unit time right so that will always be moles per dmp per second or per minute whereas the units for the rate constant can very